And take it. Welcome to West 57. I'm Steve Croft. It's been pointed out to us many times that Saturday night at 10 o'clock is not the most convenient time to watch a news magazine program. Some of you, in fact, may be watching this on Sunday or Monday, having taped it on your video cassette recorder. More of you would probably like to tape the show, but don't know how. No need to be embarrassed. There are almost 70 million VCRs in America today, and the industry estimates that three out of four owners don't know how to fully operate their machines. We thought there might be a story here if we could help, maybe even a rating point. So we set out for the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas to tackle a problem that turns out to be part cultural, part psychological, and part digital. Toshiba would like to welcome all of you to the 1989 Winter Consumer Electronics Show and introduce you to our newest product, which is our SVF 990 Super VHS VCR. This is state of the art, the ultimate in electronic wizardry. And if you don't like the color, you just simply change the color. And of course, we could also reverse the image if we wanted. This is what Toshiba and the other giants of the industry are betting you will need in five to ten years. A VCR with editing and special effects features that make home movies look like network television. The shuttle, the jog, color fade, wipes, positioning, character generator, all of it controlled from the remote. Over 50 buttons on the remote control. You know how to do it? Sure. Our purpose and here is not to frighten you. The touch of a button, he says confidently, it should have wiped. The Here's point it. is, some of this stuff is so new and so complicated not even the manufacturers know how to run it. I'm not familiar enough with this VCR yet to sit there and do all this. Where's Angie? Call her out for Angie. Right back. Follow. The engineers who invent these products think they know what people are going to do with them. But you never know what human beings are going to do until you actually give them something, study it, and see how they react. People sometimes react in ways that are very different uh, from what one would expect. Barry Bryan is a specialty retail analyst for Drexel Burnham Lambert. VCR sales have now begun to level off, in part because the people who still don't have them think they're too difficult to operate. People have fear of technology, but technology isn't special. People have fear of the unknown. And it is the essence of marketing to help overcome that fear uh, in order to get people to buy products. You ever try to explain to your parents how to use that automatic timer? <laughs> you know, my mom doesn't even want to learn. You bring out anything electronic, right away those eyes just glaze over. We were just told we need a forehead, whatever that is, instead of a two head, because um, it can stop the picture without squiggles. That's true. And I don't want squiggles. No, no, we, I mean, I, I we don't want, uh, we don't want uh, complicated, you know, we don't want to watch one football game while we're watching another football game and all that kind of stuff. We don't, we don't, no, we, do we don't need double screen. It's always helpful to know what you want or need when you walk into a video store, but you have to be prepared for unanticipated questions. Do you know your environment? What kind of environment? What do you mean my environment? Do you I know, know your video environment. Do you have cable or antenna? Is your TV set cable ready or just cable compatible? Quartz tuning or MTS? What about your converter box? Have you got the right adapters? I don't know where I got these from, but did it bypass the box or something like that? 
Well, the reason that Americans have a very difficult time uh, understanding how to work a VCR is that we're the instant gratification society. Faith Popcorn is a management consultant who spots trends for Fortune 500 companies. We're the quick think, quick fix society, and the VCR is absolutely actually in opposition to that, probably because it was developed by the Japanese, really, which are very slow and methodical, willing to take the time it needs to really learn something well. So here they develop a product for Americans uh, who have absolutely no patience for anything that they can almost get by osmosis. Uh, stereo or non-stereo, that's another feature. Americans uh, are busy people, and most VCRs are bought right off the shelf with little or no demonstration from salesmen who run through things only once. Pick up the remote, you hit program. Right on the screen, it'll designate a number, one, two, three, or four, so you start. And as we already know from our friends at Toshiba, retailers and manufacturers sometimes know less about their products than they think. And, and then if you do this, if you do this, and you keep, and you know how it wipes over? Right. It keeps wiping. Right. You do your color selector, you go through all four colors, and you go to the right, go to the next four colors, you go to the left, get to the next four colors that come in together, and the next four colors will zero in. Okay. A good rule is if you get it home without knowing how to run it, it may already be too late. Well, each machine has its own idiosyncrasies, but the basic steps are all the same. You want to tell the machine when to start recording, when your favorite show starts, when to stop recording, when it's over, and what channel to record. Those are the three basic steps that apply to all VCRs, regardless of mic. You don't think that I would have any trouble understanding your manual? I don't think so. The manual is 74 pages long, and it has 32 pages just describing the features before it gets to the point on page 33 where it says, insert the tape. They, they can't read the manual. I mean, first of all, do you know how many people in this country really can't read? And when you ask them to read and follow a, a, a diagram, it's impossible. It says here, attach an optional EAC66 UV band separator to the VHF UHF out connector on the VCR. Connect the separator to the VHF and UHF antenna terminals of the TV. I mean, these are not things that I come in contact with in my daily life. Or most people don't, right. So you have to read that sentence two or three times and look at the diagram. But it can be done. Uh, there are sources of information. This is on page 18. This would take me until Wednesday. <laughs> there are sources of information other than the manual, too. The American consumer thinks it's their unalienable right to open the box, to plug the VCR in, to flip the switch, and then to consume. And the problem is, this isn't a toaster. Um, it is not as simple as it used to be. Um, it is a complex product, and it is a product which requires some education or a little bit of work. There are some who believe Americans are cognitively dysfunctional, which in plain language means they can't encode. We also have trouble with sequential methodology, which means doing things in order, and pro-digitalization, fear of flashing lights. But the Japanese are on the case. Consumers are continually looking for faster, simpler ways to set their VCRs. First, there is now something called on-screen programming. You just plug in the VCR and it prints out what to do on the TV screen, like an automatic bank teller. If you find that too difficult... We've developed a method of programming the VCR using barcode programming. We like to think of the barcode system as being as easy to use as drawing a line. The barcode scanner... You take a magic wand and rub it over a coded message, like the one on the side of your vegetable cans. Each one corresponds to a time and a day of the week. I will take the chart, I will scan the date for the 8th, I will program it. It's a little noise. It, it makes a beep to tell me it, picks, it picked up that code off at uh, 10 p.m. and we'll put in channel 13. It's supposed to be really easy for people who work at checkout line. Someday they're supposed to print the codes in the TV guide, so all you've got to do is rub the magazine in the right spot and you're all set. And if that's too complicated, there's always this. This is the simplest machine on the market. I believe so. And it's the friendliest. For the truly feeble-minded, those capable of responding only to audio commands, there is the sharp optonica voice coach. The remote will actually speak to you. Hit the desired channel by using the numbered keypad. Then press the program set. If you can't master this, well, you should probably stick to renting tapes or ask your kids or find a more creative solution.
Coming up next on West 57.